All right, guys, so today is the day before St. Patrick's Day. I'm supposed to do the special video tomorrow. <laughs> Should I get the corned beef? You know, um, my sister said she went to Whole Foods there was an hour ago, only two were left. She's like, I doubt you're gonna get corned beef tonight. I'm like, oh my God, I have to get corned beef. Because I have to do for my special video tomorrow. If I am if I have no corn, if I can't find any corned beef, I'm screwed, guys. <laughs> what am I gonna do? <laughs> and we, um, so California, or at least in the Bay Area, we have some special rules. Um, a lot of guidelines we have to follow now. Movie theaters are closed. A lot of places are closed right now. All restaurants are to go or delivery only. You can't dine in. Very strict rules. Um, but the good news is grocery stores are open. So, you know, we'll, we'll still have to get food. Gas stations are still open. So yeah, they want you to stay home if you can. Although if you have to work, if it's an essential job, you have to work. So I obviously, my cashier job is essential because it's groceries. And my day job is, is also essential because it is a um, car dealership, car repair, and that is that is essential. So I'll be still working my two jobs. This is a three week thing going on. But right now I'm gonna go to Safeway. I wanna see how busy it is. My sister says it was crazy busy at Whole Foods, like crazy, they're out of everything. So I just hope they have corned beef. back from Safeway for my St. Patrick's Day video. Alright guys, I got this happy St. Patrick's Day Valentine's um, balloon. I thought you said something special. It cost five bucks. This is the closest thing I found for a St. Patrick's Day dessert. <laughs> I don't know. I just got that. We got some cabbage. Some stout beer for the corned beef. Whooping cream for an Irish coffee. I'm craving a hamburger tonight. This is all they had. I, I like organic grass fed completely out. This is all I, I got. This is all they had. <laughs> got an onion for the corned beef, fried potatoes, carrots, and some corned beef, guys. Excited to try this out. So, right now, I'm gonna make a hamburger. I'm really craving a really good cheeseburger right now. So, I'm gonna be making a cheeseburger right now, guys. All right, guys, I decided to make myself a cheeseburger. I didn't film it because I'm just really hungry. I just want to eat real fast. Cherry Pepsi. All right, so this cheeseburger just basically has a lot of cheese, a lot of cheese. I like, can see all that cheese right there. Um, just take it out. The beef isn't the best. It's not organic, it's not grass food. It's not what I like, but it's all they have. So. But it just has lettuce, tomatoes, onions. For what it is, it's really good. How was your day today, guys? Today was crazy. I just can't believe today. Nuts. So many of my subscribers were asking, was, was I out of lockdown? Was I out of lockdown? Am I working tomorrow? Am I working my jobs? So people are hearing rumors that Bay Area businesses are closing. So we are in kind of in lockdown right now in the Bay Area. What does that mean? They want us to stay home if we can. Oh, obviously, if we have to work, we have to work. So if it's an essential job, we have to work. Like my grocery job, obviously, we have groceries, we have stores, I have to work. That's an essential job. Um, car repair, I work at a car dealership for repairs. That is labeled as essential job, so I have to work that job as well, unfortunately. I think it might be starting to get slow though, we'll see. But as far as I know, restaurants are closed, but um, they're open for to-go and take-out only. I think, movie, I think movie theaters are closed, bars are closed, any, any fun things are closed. So, it's a crazy day, crazy day. Huh.
went to the grocery store today after work. I knew I knew it was gonna be super busy after this new law rule thing about we, that we should really stay at home and not go out and nothing's really open. So right now I just uploaded my pork chop video right now. I'm listening to it. I'm actually watching it and not listening to it. I already got some good comments. Maple Life commented. I think it was the first comment. He said they have no pork chops where he lives. Isn't that terrible? Can't even find pork chops in your own city. These people are hogging all the food. Oh. And somebody commented they're like, same here. And I'm like, wow, really? Same here? Wow. Honestly, I don't even think I, there was pork chops to be honest, but I don't know. I don't usually buy pork chops a lot, but. I just know they didn't have much. At Safeway. The pizza section at Safeway was a lot of it was, was missing as well. Not, not a lot of pizzas there. There is absolutely no bread. No bread at all. I couldn't believe it. No bread. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> so after this, I'm going to go ahead and probably come in the kitchen a little bit, get ready for my video tomorrow, my live Steam Actors video. I'm super excited. I didn't think I was going to find corned beef, but I did. Um, I found everything carrots, potatoes, onions. I found everything for the dish. Got my a little St. Patrick's dessert. Not All right, see you in the next clip. All right, guys, today St. Patrick's Day, and I'm going to make corned beef in the crock pot, corned beef and cabbage. I'm super excited. My first time ever making corned beef. So a subscriber sent me this recipe on YouTube, and um, I also asked her more about the recipe. Did you change anything? Did you add anything extra or different? She says she mixes it different. She says she goes to different recipes and kind of mixes it. I think she wanted to shout out her name is Christina. You might have seen her in the comments. She does comment a lot, guys. So I'm just going to follow. I'm actually following three different recipes, kind of mixing each other, you know. So right now I'm going to be putting the carrots, potatoes, and onion in the crock pot. It's just this one onion quarter. And I got four potatoes. And a pound of carrots. Wow. Already full already. This is a smaller crock pot. It did cook faster than normal ones. But I think I... According to the guy that I bought the corned beef, he said it was a smaller one. So I was going to some garlic. And a bay leaf. Okay, now I'll be adding three cups of water. All right, next I'll be adding the corned beef on top. Yeah, it's pretty full. It's on top. All right, now I'm gonna pour six ounces of this Guinness Stout beer. Whoa. <laughs> pour it all over on top. Hmm. Looks amazing. Apparently this beer is supposed to make the flavor really good. Now I'm going to sprinkle some of this spice mix. I think I'm just going to do half. So one of my subscribers says if you don't want it too salty, just do half of it. Maybe I'll do the whole thing. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's supposed to be salty anyways, right? Some people don't like the mix. So I'm gonna leave that just because I don't like it too salty. And then basically I'm just gonna cover it up. Let me guys give you a close up what it looks like first. Hold on. All right, here is a close up on my corned beef. I'm just gonna put the lid on. Simmer it about eight hours or so. I'm gonna simmer it for eight hours on low. And yeah, when I come back from work, I'm um, I wanna put the cabbage, I'm gonna cut up some cabbage, put it on top, wait an hour, and this should be all done. 
And yeah, I'm excited for my live video tonight, guys. Should be fun. All right, guys, I just came home. Let's take a look. There we go. Looks good. It smells amazing. So the last hour, you're supposed to like put some cabbage in here. I hope it's not too big. All right, looks like we have one more hour left. All right, guys, today is Wednesday. Um, on my way to work today, I work by a Target. I noticed a big, I noticed that this parking lot at Target was extremely crowded and there was just like a line just to get in the store. I don't think they opened quite yet. As I look at the parking lot, it doesn't seem to be that busy. Usually like lunchtime, let me just show you real fast, but usually every parking lot is full. Like every every parking space is full. All right, here's one by, right by me. That one's empty. You can see there's more empty. So, and usually this whole thing is full. So I don't think it's that busy. So I'm gonna Target. I wanna see if they, if, if they have any supplies and how busy it is. Well, I don't think it's that busy, but I wanna see if they have any supplies. Here is my supplies from Target. Let me see how much I spent today. It was a lot, actually. Um, $89, guys. So I got this cute shirt. I just love this shirt. It looks so cute. And a couple of supplies. Okay, so I don't know, but they actually had a lot of food at Target. I was very surprised. They got some Alfredo. I actually got two of these um, broccoli mixes. It'd be good with um, Chinese food or something. I got two of these An An Annie's chicken noodle soup. It's organic, that's good. I've been wanting to see this movie, so I got this movie. It's not only $10, that's pretty good. Just one can of SpaghettiOs. I don't know if I'm gonna like spaghetti. <laughs> two cans of these organic pasta sauce. No pasta, but they have pasta sauce. I got a big thing of these Amy's spinach pizza. What I'm gonna do with this one is cut it in individual slices and just freeze it whenever I want a piece of pizza. Four macaroni and cheeses. They have macaroni and cheese. A couple of cheese candles on the bottom. Lift them soup. Pretty much it. I got two of these. Okay. Two of these waters. Because at work, I always want some water. And I got this big thing of water. I can't believe they're, they have water. Oh my god. It's a shirt haul for you guys. All right, guys, when I was checking out, I talked to the cashier and I said, were you here at 8 a.m.? Because I saw a lot of people. What was that line about? And she was like, oh, paper towels and toilet paper. She's like, that's what they're coming for, paper towels and toilet paper. I'm like, oh, really? She's like, yeah, we had them for the last four days. And she says one customer waited 6.30 in the morning and it'll open until 8 a.m. And I said, were they running? And she's like, oh yeah, they were running. <laughs> Can you guys believe that? How crazy. This world is becoming. <laughs> so yeah, she said they have to, they've been having toilet paper, paper towels for the last four days. They probably overstock in the night and they had to run and get them in the morning. All right, I just came back from Target, came home. Now I'm trying to put all this stuff in my freezer, but there's really no room. I think I got too much stuff. Let's see if this will fit. Okay, there's that. So I have a lot more frozen stuff. I think I need to reorganize, guys. <laughs> hey guys, went to Safeway. They actually had bread, so I was like, that was a tip from a customer from Target I went to yesterday. It was Thursday around 12 p.m. Um, I went to Safeway. I didn't really need bread, but I um, got some other items. So I was craving some, um, the spinach chip at Safeway is really good, and then with some chip, tortilla chips. That's my lunch. I also got a, um, 
seafood crab salad or something. It looks really good. So let me guys show you something. We're in lockdown, you know. The only places we can go to like grocery stores, essential work, like we, we have, most people have to work like I do. You know, our jobs, medical issues. And look, it is really busy at Safeway. Let me, let me show you. All right, it's really busy at Safeway. There's a ton of cars here, a lot of cars. But I'm happy um, there's food at the stores. That's cool. Oh, and I got something to drink. This is only 88 cents at Safeway. It's called Energizing Diablo Loco. It's a sea berry. <laughs> That'd be good with this. I don't think it's an energy drink. I think it's just like a lightly carbonated vitamin enriched water. That's alright. There's a sweetener I don't really like in here, but that's alright. You can see why it's 88 cents only. Here's the spinach dip with the tortilla chips. I can eat this and talk to you guys about changes at my cashier job. Which is good. Mmm. Really good. Mm. So apparently Walmart, all Walmarts, instead of closing at 11 or midnight or overnight, whatever, they're all closed at 8.30 p.m. So what does that mean for me? Well, I start at 6. So am I just going to work two and a half hours? I don't know. I talked to a few people. They said come early. I, well, I can't. I have my other day job. I can't. Six is the only, only earliest I can be there. Some catchers like, I will be there, will come earlier. And they say, okay, just come when you come. And I'm like, okay, I guess I'll be working only for a couple of hours. I don't know how that's gonna do. My sister says that they, they think they might lay me off because I can only work a couple of hours a night. So I don't know guys. That might be a job I might be let go. I mean, do I really need to come for two and a half hours? Did they really need me? <laughs> can't believe how busy the Safeway is. It's crazy. But it's one time. That's why. Probably that's why. It's lunchtime, right? I was at Target yesterday. There was a big line before 8 a.m. That's when they open at 8 a.m. To get in. Full cars in the parking lot. Today, the same thing. Full cars and parking lot at Target. A long line to get in. And that's all they're looking for is the toilet paper. And I'm thinking, there's probably at least 20 people. I don't know if all 20 people are going to get the toilet paper. I don't know. My mom just bought it online, but she's been a hell of money. All right, guys, I'll finish my lunch and I'll, I'll keep you updated about Walmart and if I'm actually working there or not. All right, guys, I just mailed a package to a subscriber. I had a DVD called Igby, Igby Goes Down. It's a really good movie. I actually had two. I did a live video. 
So I was like, wow, I had two of these DVDs, the same movie, wow. And the subscriber's like, hey, I'll pay, I'll pay for one of those. I'll, I'll just mail it to you for free, no problem. So today I went to the post office and um, interesting, they have, um, they're really big on the roll about six feet, you know, between each person. Um, they have it taped all over the post office. So they told a customer ahead of me that she was too close to the clerk to move back. So I thought that was interesting. And I was I paying for the postage when I put my card in the machine. I saw the clerk kind of go backwards. <laughs> so it's just, it was interesting. It's interesting how people um, are, are reacting to this virus. A lot of them are really scared. Also, when I was cashiering yesterday, this customer kept on saying, at, as I was taking the money, this customer, as I was bagging, this customer kept on saying, saying six feet away, six feet away, six feet away, like repeatedly. I was like, okay. And I finally cut it. Oh, six feet away. I know what they're trying to say. <laughs> and then when they paid, they told the cut, they told the customers behind them, can you please move back a little bit? So it's interesting. You know, more and more people wearing masks. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it's actually depressing, guys. But what are you going to do, right? So, yeah. So today is Friday. So, yeah, I found out yesterday from Walmart, they are going to still keep me. They're not going to cut my hours. What they're going to do, even though they close at 830, I can do some stocking, clean up the store up a little bit. So that's good. So I still have my Walmart job. I still have my day job. So, so far, everything's good, guys. All right, today is Saturday, March 21st. All right, Saturday morning, I want to show you some more stock I got at Walmart. Um, I just love these Snickers eggs. They're really good. I couldn't believe I found some. To oh. Couldn't believe it. I found some Kleenex Ultra Soft. So I got three of these. I think these are a great snack. I got a Walmart tuna salad kit. It comes with crackers. So I got three of these. I only have found one pasta sauce, but at least it's pasta sauce. Classico four cheese. That looks good. Found some chili. That would be good with rice if I have rice. <laughs> and it's a pasta side with cheddar broccoli. This is a good item if there is no food in the house. All right. So now I have almost two bins full. This is not quite full. But I have two bins full of this, you know, food. So in case we have to go into martial law, which I hope we don't. And if they just say you need food for two to four weeks. I have some pretty good food. Also, my freezer is really packed. I literally can't put anything. I took this pizza out and took the cardboard out, but there's a whole pizza here. I can't put anything in here. It's, I'm just, ugh. here's pretty full. I could probably put a few burritos here, but I'm pretty full. So like I said, if we do martial law, like I said, if they do martial law and they say, you know, you need to be in your home for two or four weeks straight, they get enough food. All right, guys, today is Sunday. It's 1.30 p.m. This is my lunch today. I got some progressive soup right here. So today, guys, I found some sourdough bread. I couldn't believe it, finally. Not the best sourdough bread, but actually it's pretty good. It's, it was only two ninety nine. It was on sale. Normally, I think I saved fifty cents, but that's what it looks like. Um, this is other sourdough bread stuff that I really like. It's called extra sourdough. It's really good, but this is really good. It's just better. You got some Bartoli and apple juice. Try this soup I never had it before. It's new, but I thought I'd give it a try. Um, let's try it. I think it's lasagna soup or something. Hot. <laughs> it was just craving toast with butter, and it's so good. It's toast. Mm. So today, at the three stores, I was very happy. A lot of stuff was stocked. Not everything. I, I was able to get rice. I was like, very surprised. So I got some rice at Safeway. Got some sourdough bread. It was out of this butter. It's my favorite butter. And it may not be the healthiest butter, but 
Oh, so I was really exciting. Trader Joe's. What did I get at Trader Joe's? I think I just got... Oh, I got these cookies that I might want to try after this. Organic Honey Hedgehog Cookies with Kosher Butter. It looks interesting. I also got some shrimp spot stickers at Trader Joe's. I think it would be good with the vegetable chow mein from Costco that I have a bunch of packages for. In Whole Foods, I only got a couple items. I didn't get any food. I got this French lavender bubble bath. This is the only kind of like shower gel I like to use. And I know Trader Whole Foods has it or Amazon, but I figure I would get it faster if I went to Whole Foods. This has been helping me with my sleep because I haven't been sleeping because, you know, what's happening with the world and there's no food at the stores. Um, it's called Good Day Chocolate Sleep Supplement with melatonin. And I've been taking about two before I go to bed and it's real, it makes me really sleepy. So I've got four of these. That's all I've got at Trader Whole Foods, not a lot. But yeah, I'm really happy. That there was a lot of food today at stores. There was pasta, pasta sauce. This lasagna soup is really good too. Mmm. Mm hmm. Slightly spicy, but not that spicy. Like it has like meatballs or something in there. Maybe some cheese. <laughs> so yeah, I, I still work my two jobs in case you guys are wondering. These are both essential. Now they could possibly close if our business is slow. It's possible. But honestly, I was I was having trouble sleeping because there was no food in the there was no food like in the stores. The other day at Walmart, I couldn't believe not one frozen item. They were just all the frozen was completely empty. I couldn't believe it. But I found out there was a truck stuck in Nevada because of the, there was a storm or something. So um, the other day I had half the food frozen stock, so that's good. So I'm still gonna work at my cashier job tonight. Since we close at 8.30, I'll get there a little bit earlier and I'll just leave at nine. Come to the store a little bit, leave at nine. So that's where we're working really well for me. After I eat this, guys, this is my lunch today. What I'm probably gonna do is take a little nap before work so I'm fully rested. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys about the stores I went to today. So Trader Joe's, I think they might limit the people in the store because there's people greeting you and they had some hand sanitizer. And at Trader Joe's, they have these like blue tapes where you have, you ha if you're in line, you had to be six feet away from each other. So that was really interesting. That was the first store I've seen that, that, that does that. So it was really interesting. I now at Whole Foods, that um, there was a person they wanted to know if I wanted to basket. I'm like, sure, I want a basket. So they, I watched them hand and sanitize the basket. And I think there was a sign, make sure to stay six feet away from each other. Um, so that's what Whole Foods, Whole Foods was very slow. I, I was able to get in, get out really fast. There's probably anybody at Whole Foods. So today was a very protective day. I did my laundry, I got some gas for my car for the week. It's a very good day. All right, I'm gonna try these cookies from Care Joe's. Let's try one. If it's good, I'll let you guys know. They're friends. So if they come in these packets, I wasn't sure. And that's what they come in. Probably great for kids. So they're pretty small. That's what they look like. Not what I was expecting, but let's try it out. They're good for kids. Yeah, they, they kind of remind me of like butter cookies, I guess. But yeah, pretty good.